Greetings gentlemen and ladies. Uh, in today's video we are going to learn a little bit about what I learned about yesterday uh, and that is a setting LOD levels for optimizing FPS and performance. My FPS is not very good here but it's better than it was and uh, it could be dramatically better if you want to really tinker around with it. I just kind of wanted to create a workflow for now using these Quixel Megascan trees which are just beautiful but also uh, very high detail in their original form. So here's a little bit into LODs and how they work and how to how to deal with them, how to how to adjust them. Let's see, I'm gonna open up my black alder tree, different than the black adder, which is uh, Mr. Bean um, <laughs> or something like that. Black adder, is that what I'm thinking? I don't know. Anyway, here's, here's LODs. Here's LODs in a nutshell. So right now what I've done <clears throat> in order to sort of shortcut my workflow and just get a reasonable uh, LOD that I can actually move. This used to be 6 F FPS. Now I'm like 20 or whatever, right? Um, but this used to be extremely, extremely uh, sluggish. So what I've just done right here over over in the minimum LOD is set the minimum LOD to 2. All right, so, minimum, so LOD 2, if you take a look at your LOD picker, you can choose which LOD you want to work on. And that's what the LOD picker is all about. So LOD 0, uh, shows right up here in the in in the top left corner of the screen how many triangles the model is at LOD 0. LOD 0 means no reduction. It is full full uh, detail, full detail on your model. Um, and basically as you cycle through LOD 0 is the highest, LOD 6 in my case would be the lowest detail and you can you, you can adjust how you want these to perform. Now they do automatically have um, built-in sort of distance auto compute LOD distances that is a thing that you can do uh, but unfortunately <clears throat> um, unfortunately that is not always the most optimized option all right so let me show you really quickly uh, what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna actually set that back to LOD 0 and you can see right now I've got 423,000 triangles in the model as I back up a bit further, if I actually switch to LOD Auto, you can see the LOD in the top left corner of the screen uh, is actually based, the, the resolution of the model that you're looking at is based upon the current screen size. It's not distance that it's based on, but it's based on current screen size. So right now it's about 120% size, 1.2. Here's a 90% size. Here as we get back to 50% a size of my screen, uh, you can see the LOD automatically switches to 1, which reduces the triangles down to 211,000. As I back up even further, now we're at uh, screen size 20%, give or take 22%. Triangles have been reduced down again to 105,000. So uh, that that is you know basically how auto LOD is supposed to work. And what auto LOD or what LOD settings basically do is they allow the model to be shown with fewer and fewer basically triangles right now. So right now this is like very high detail, right? But if I switch this over to let's say minimum LOD uh, one. Uh, now you can see I've got 211,000 triangles. There's not much difference there. You couldn't really see what happened too much, right? So the LOD zero, LOD one, not much difference there. Uh, Cause LOD doesn't affect textures as far as I can, as far as I can tell it only affects the number of geometry, like the number of triangles and polygons in the model. So you can adjust this and try to find what works best for you. Here's LOD two, which uh, actually reduces the model count in this case I think by uh, tw down to 25% polygons and you can see that's still basically pretty good. There's a little bit of weirdness here and there but for the most part that's pretty pretty good not too bad. Right there I've got a little bit of a weird triangle situation happening but probably for the most part that's not even going to be noticed and certainly it's not going to be noticed at this distance right. So what you are going to want to do for for creating a sort of crude workflow the easiest way to do that without without totally optimizing and i'll talk about that in just a second but the easiest way to create a crude workflow is to figure out a good minimum lod and basically cap out what this model will lod or the minimum what the what the highest resolution lod will be so if i need more performance I might want to drop the, the minimum LOD down to three and then it will never show higher resolution, higher LOD than three. doesn't matter what, the auto LOD will still work as you distance out. Will it? Oh no, sorry, I'm set to, what am I set to? I think it's, I'm pretty sure it still works as you distance out. Maybe I just need to go further. Yeah, there we go, LOD four. 
Uh, now where's my, where's my tree? <laughs> I lost my tree. Okay, we'll be right back. Hang on a second. <laughs> I went too far. Okay, so the auto LOD will still work, but the cap uh, for the LOD will be set to whatever the minimum LOD is. Now, if you really want to get into optimization, like I say, this is your, your quick and dirty work, workflow option right here. You can just set the cap LOD and that way your game will actually run. So I've got my cap right now, I think set to LOD two and my game actually runs, although the FPS is not great. Uh, I might, might even want to set that cap down a little bit lower to be more functional, but <clears throat> anyway, so now here's the, other, here's the other option you have. If you want to configure what LOD shows uh, depending on basically distance, how big that, that, I, that mesh is on your screen, you can do that. And what you need to do is first untick here where it says auto compute LOD distances. All right. So now you'll have the option, where is it? Somewhere around here. Uh, looking for, looking for, no, nope, not there. We're looking for the reduction settings. Here we go under LOD zero. So what you're going to want to do is all of your LODs from your LOD picker. Right now we're looking at uh, LOD auto. So let's take a look at LOD zero, which is your top top resolution one. Uh, and then of course, let's say for example, LOD, LOD one, right? So if we want to change, currently LOD one is set to a reduction of 50%, right? So the normal number of triangles in here is about 422,000. Right now the LOD one is set to 50% triangles. If I change this down to 10, Oops, if I change this down to 10, and I was actually looking at LOD1. Oh yeah, LOD is below the minimum of three. <clears throat> uh, so I think I actually need to, uh, I think this is because I've got different LODs that are set lower and higher. So let me actually just, uh, let me just see here. So LOD auto, or sorry, LOD zero. Ah, LOD zero. <clears throat> Oh, right, because, mm -hmm. so actually I'm just going to put that back up to its maximum just for the sake of, of taking a look here. LOD zero, no, sorry, LOD zero, uh, custom advanced, where, where were we? Things jump around, there we go. Close that. All right, so LOD zero, here we have LOD zero, and then we have LOD one, which I have currently at 35% triangles. There's 50%. Uh, what are we currently looking at? We're looking at LOD1? Yeah, we're looking at LOD1. So reducing the number of triangles here should... Why is that Why is that not working? <laughs> Come on, game. Uh, oh, maybe I just need to click Apply Changes. That's probably what I'm not doing. Probably. And that's the thing. When you click Apply Changes now, um, this, I think, has a bit of a loading time. So we might might be staring at the screen for a second. At least on my setup, for some reason, this seems to take quite a long time to do. So I'll pause the video here and we'll come back once that's set. Okay, we're back and there we go. There's the there's the triangle reduction at 35% is now 148. That applied changes just takes ages on my my computer. I don't know why it takes so long. It took about two or three minutes um, to to set. Anyway, that is a look at how to configure uh, your, your various LOD levels for various distances and then basically what you would do is you would go through all of your different LODs and figure out what size you want them to be what uh, here's the, here's sorry I missed one part here's the screen size right for LOD to screen size that it needs to be so and you can figure out what your current screen size is up here right so right now it's 1.1 so 0.2 would be right around 0.27 would be right around here so once the player got to that distance that screen size 0.27 then we would then we would swap over to LOD2 which would reduce the triangles by 25% in this case or to 25% of the base model LOD0 um, yeah and that's that's basically it in a nutshell you go through all of your LODs that you want to do and you uh, set what distance you want them to be you can see how far you away, are away over here and uh, then you set the reduction of triangles you want at that distance and you basically uh, uh, apply and, and continue. Um, my question is, do you need to click apply every single time you make a change? Or can you apply everything all at once? I don't know. I'm not sure. I just figured this out the other day. That's why I'm making a video. So I don't forget, or when I do forget rather, I'll be able to come back. Yeah, okay. It looks like you can set all of your distances at once and then you can apply all those changes. 
Okay, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and future me. I hope this was helpful uh, for when I forget. All right.